Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you, please invite your friends and that uh, you know we will share a little video with you here. Uh, today I receive a copyright claim from YouTube uh, and I was expecting you know I mean when you speak to kids the kids go to mommy. So Sheikh Uthman, the man, the one who claimed that he is the man, this little kid he went to YouTube, Christian Prince is humiliating me, using my words against me. <laughs> Aren't you ashamed of you, you idiot? Look, okay, now what you will say to the people, why you are filing for copyright? Aren't you the man, the hero who can, you know, nobody can defeat you supposed to? You are a potato, you are crying because of the video. You see, if you are victorious, as you claim, you will not go to daddy or to mommy. All Muslims, they copy my videos. I don't file copyright claims. Go, do, let us see what you can do with it. But, you know, like when I saw it, I was like laughing, really. I mean, like, okay, the, the, the guy is like, you know, I don't know what to say. I have to play a commercial break. <sighs> These idiots, they are untrained, ignorant people. They are untrained, unqualified, ignorant, arrogant individuals, arrogant nincompoops. They have no integrity. They are utter fools, ignoramuses. Just listen to them and you know that they are utter jahil. So do you understand why it is insulting for someone like me to have to get involved with such a crowd? I have nothing to do with uh, these cretins whatsoever. Okay, the end of the commercial, sorry. What's wrong with you? Hey Muslims, where is your sheikh, the man? The burqa, who is the one wearing the burqa? No, he is wearing the burqa of YouTube today. YouTube, you know, Christian Prince, he, you know, he, he, made, he made me the joke of everybody. Everybody is laughing at me. I challenge him to debate face to face and look what he's doing. What's wrong with you? A false copyright? Who cares? I mean, it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the video is all over the internet, you idiot. People, they copy my video everywhere. So like what you did already, the people, they are laughing at you. But this reminds me of Yasser Qadi when he start, you know, like when he said the hole in the narrative and he tried to cover the hole. <laughs> and he started, he spent the day going from page to page on YouTube and filing claim. Copyright claim. But what? Aren't you proud about what you did and what you accomplish? I mean, I'm playing even the video of you supposedly busting David Wood and uh, Anthony Roger. So why you are fighting? You should. You, you want the Christians to see it. What's wrong with you? I thought they are the hero. The turn to be you are the chicken. You know what? You remind me of the Hadith. Actually, I saw in the comment uh, a, a Muslim. Uh, somebody was asking about this Hadith I mentioned yesterday about Allah, he sat in the top of a, uh, on top of a chicken, a rooster. And the Muslim says, <laughs> they photoshopped their Bible and then post a video of Mr. Mrs. Fifi. And the video is saying, Photo, they photoshopped their Bible. Well, how we photoshop our Bible? He said, hello, brothers and sisters, flat earth worshippers, believers. Those is Christian, they are photoshop Abdul. First of all, that is a translation. Secondly, translation is not our book. You can make a translation too, and you can call it the Bible. You can give it a name. And the one who do Photoshop, it is you Muslims. As an example, it was Abraham or Ibrahim in the Quran. You switch it, you make it Ibrahim. Where is Abraham in the Quran? It's gone. Who Photoshop? Who is the one who had Jesus there and there's no Jesus? There is a Isa. It is you who do Photoshop. The name is Isa, you keep it Isa. You don't translate a name, potato. So they are very silly, very, uh, you know, anyway. Here the hate in the front of us, remind me of the Sheikh. 
that he is a, a person who worship Allah. He's a very good worshiper. And he is very, very aggressive person. You know, to the point he gave five to David Wood, the one who ate the Quran. And I believe strongly the reason he gave him five and he called him bro, because he was afraid that David Wood is going to eat him the same he ate the Quran. I mean, the guy, he ate everything. You never know. He proved it. The one who ate the Quran and Allah could not stop him. He might eat Sheikh Uthman too. <laughs> so Sheikh Uthman, he could not find a solution except calling them bro. Bro, hey bro, give me five bro. Oh, mashallah, you are six foot tall. Can I flirt with you? I like tall men. <laughs> bro. So bro, chicken. What's wrong with you? I thought Allah is sitting in the top of you and you are proud. This is the book of uh, <clears throat> and the funny by the way the hadith we are showing now he cannot say uh, this is weak because the one who said it is sahih is al Alabani. you know the guy Alabani, the one he like him very much <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> Shall we translate to English? And then we will find where is the Sheikh is located. Uh, I will post the link for you, you know, uh, so you guys, you will see what we are talking about. And you can use Google translation by your own. I mean, I'm using Google translation because maybe 99.9 .9 of you don't speak Arabic. You know, when I say 9.9999, uh, this is the Islamic percentage in Islamic countries for how many ones they believe in Allah. There's only one person he was not able to count in the 9999.9. He was going to work and have an accident before he voted for Allah. Otherwise, it was going to be 100%. In their countries, there's no atheist. There's no gays. There's no prostitution, brother. Nobody drink. Nobody smoke. Nobody do anything. It's a, it's a heaven. It's a heaven to the point if a woman, she walk alone in the street, she will be humiliated and she will become the joke of everybody. Because... All the horny creatures will be chasing her because it's a perfect country. Now let us see. Translate to English. Oh boy. In this hadith, the Prophet may Allah pray on him. See, they say to you that the Prophet blessing on him. It says, pray and peace be upon him. <laughs> God authorized me to speak to you in the authority of the rooster. In the authority of what? <laughs> I mean, this Google translation is horrible. No, he did not say in the authority of the rooster. In the authority from the Allah. Even though Allah and the rooster is one, alhamdulillah. So meaning that I speak to you about the creation of the rooster. And then he says, let us go down. Uh, there's a rooster. The translation is horrible. Let's see the, the one in the top before we go down. Uh, Allah, he authorized me to speak about a rooster whose legs were uh, down in the ground, not turned apart. His, his legs is down in the ground and his head is under the throne of Allah. <laughs> let me, you know, let me use my art. I mean, you, you know, you see, uh, for me, I don't know. I think I'm born to be an artist. Somehow, I, I love drawing. I always like get so much tempted when I see like a drawing or something like this. You know, even though the drawing is haram, by the way, in case you do not know, drawing is haram. But the breastfeeding for adult is not, you know. And uh, we are very concerned of uh, versatile you know, people. So let us uh, make a, a page here, hold on, so we can draw. Let us do here. All right. I will open. I always open Al Fatiha because this chapter is almost empty. There's nothing there. They call it chapter. <coughs> and okay, so now, <coughs> praise be to the, the I, Allah. He gave me the authority to speak to you about a rooster. Now take a note. Now you will have an opportunity to learn how to draw. You know, I was the best in the uh, like university and school and everywhere I go. You know, like, you know, Picasso. Why they call him Picasso? 
because I gave him a beaker and so. And then like he learned. And then I said to him, give me five, bro, because he did not eat the Quran, by the way. But I told him, if you eat the Quran, I will give you another five. But he did not eat it because, you know, he was like busy. So anyway, uh, the Prophet of Allah, Allah gave him the authority to tell us about a rooster. Now, this is the throne of Allah. Let us make the throne of Allah. As you know, the throne of Allah is carried by eight angels. They have four faces each, and they are like a, they are like deer. So, this is the throne of Allah. And the reason uh, I made it like here, you see, there is a, like a, I don't know what to say. It's not straight. I mean, it's like there's a, a, the level because if you remember the hadith we showed you, where Allah is going to ejaculate, and then His ejaculation is going to come down to the ground, and He will raise people from death. You know, so we have to give it like we cannot make it straight. We have to make actually. I'm going to make like here a hole so the ejaculation can come down. So like we will hit. Okay, so now, okay, brother, Alhamdulillah. Now, this is the chair of Allah, and you notice here there's something here because it was broken. We took a crazy glue, and now under the throne, there is a rooster. Look at this drawing. Look at this. Who of you can make a head of a rooster like this? I mean, face it. Look, this is a rooster. Okay. Look at the eye. Look at him. Look at the. Look at him at the eye. If you dare. Do you dare? Huh? His name is Sheikh Uthman. Do you dare? And he have a brother. <laughs> he have those things here, you know, like here, those things in the top. It's have his head. Yeah, he's not any rooster. This is under Allah throne. And then, uh, brother, the rooster continue going down. <clears throat> and his uh, legs go all the way to the ground. Look, his, this is his tail and his feather, you know. And then his legs is here. And this is the earth, you know, brother. Alhamdulillah. And then, so the earth is here. Let us make it a brown. You know, some, sometimes I ask myself, this man Muhammad, where he get his fantasy stories from? I mean, why in the world he he, he come with this story that there's a rooster, his feet is in the ground, his head is under the throne of Allah. Honestly, it's he's amazing. I mean, you have you have to you have to face the the reality show here. So, like you are a prophet of God, and now God he spoke to you, and now he will tell you a secret, and which nobody knows except Zak Yasser Qadi, and uh, 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 Mimi and Fifi and Susu and Dudu and Nunu and the, the, all the internet and you too, and by the help of Christian friends uh, everywhere. So, this rooster doing there what? Any Muslim can tell me what is the purpose of this story that there is a rooster, his head is in the, in the ground, and he is so big to the point his you know his 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 feet in the ground and his head is touching the throne of Allah. And not only that, I wish the story stopped here. Let me take a screenshot because I don't want to draw this again. And by the way, I have copyright over it. If you if you publish this, I will I will make a copyright claim against you. <laughs> Unbelievable! I love it. I love it. <laughs> I can, I'm going to change my career just to draw those things. You know, I will put it in the auction. Let us see how many people will buy it. So, uh, look with me, Abdul. Not only the rooster is under the throne, the rooster he spoke to Allah. And this was driving me crazy. You Muslim Muhammad, he could not speak to Allah. Look, he was under the throne, and then the rooster he praised Allah. What the rooster he said? He said, Subhanaka ma azamak, Rabbuna. Praise be to you, how great you are, our Lord. And the translation is coming very funny, you know. Allah he replied to him, saying, Allah replied to who? To the rooster. Saying, none of those who lie, swearing by name, they knew that. So he agreed with the rooster. I mean, do you see how 
romantic the story a rooster say to Allah praise be to you Allah you are the greatest Allah he said to him hmm, you told the truth tell those who swear by my name lying how great I am and as you see here it says Sahih so now you will find every dummy in the internet a Christian breath this hadith reported by Shushu and Shushu told Fufu and Fufu told Dudu and Dudu is very well known that he is a big fat liar so the hadith is broken it says here brother Abdul it says رجاله رجال صحيح they are trustworthy even Al Alabani he agree with it huh it says حكم المحدث صحيح you see if you go here in the English page hmm? it says Sahih al and the ruling is correct. Do you see it? Correct. Who is the one who says correct? Al Alabani. You remember the Alabani uh, uh, rooster boy? Cheek. Now he will say to them, Allah doesn't have a physical body. What do you mean have a physical body? Allah is sitting in the top of the rooster. And by the way. I just heard that yesterday, while NASA, you know, NASA, the satellite, uh, you know, I mean, those uh, company, they have, they do things in the space, you know, like the NASA, they do, they do, you know, they, they do NASA, they know NASA, NASA stuff, you know, and, and by the way, NASA was established by the president of Egypt, the one who was a member in the Muslim Brotherhood. This is what he said in the speech. He was working in NASA. Uh, I don't know if you remember him. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know, I think I used to work in NASA too. But you know what, I don't remember about this rooster, if I saw it or not. And when I was working in NASA, you know, like, <clears throat> I was speaking to the scientists and my English was astonishing. I mean, have you ever heard of someone? He became a president to Egypt. And then he worked in NASA. But his name cannot be found in NASA. And this guy cannot say two English words together. Uh, this is the president. He reminds me actually of the Sheikh. Look at him. Now, because he's a president, so they have a big conference. And now His Majesty Prophet Muhammad. By the way, his name is Muhammad Morsi too. <coughs> And he's speaking English. Versus. <laughs> versus. <laughs> one Arabic English, one Arabic. He doesn't know what to say. So there's Hadara. Hadara means civilization. Hadara versus. <laughs> civilization. Civilization versus another one. Not against another one. He's <laughs> speaking English now, by the way. This is a conference, nobody speaks Arabic there. He's saying, uh, isn't it there is a law that if somebody is a drunk, he go to jail, but he's speaking in Arabic, and <laughs> but he's speaking English now. And driving. Gas and alcohol don't mix. This is a statement in Egypt. They say you don't mix this with this, but I mean, it's amazing. So I am really astonished with the intelligence of this one who reports those stories about Allah and his rooster. But I am more astonished about how big the rooster who claimed to be a sheikh, who go around and filing copyright claim. You funny? People will laugh at you now. Because if you are proud of your video, you will not go and ask people to take it down. You would love to have it to go around. Why you are fighting a copyright claim, which we can fight, but anyway, what a big deal. People, they copy my videos right away. You, like, you take it off in one place, it's going to pop up, and now many people, they will look for it. Right? 
uh, if Jesus was all knowing, does does it mean that he knew that he is God even when he was little child? You know, book of Psalm. Uh, you are very smart. You are the smartest between your brothers and sisters, by the way. Uh, my friend, when a Muslim he asks question, is he asking question to learn or is he asking question to make fun? I don't find them making questions to learn because this question we answered a thousand times. The age of Jesus will not change anything about Jesus. This is about the age in flesh. Jesus said before Abraham I am. Nothing changed. So when the Bible speaks about Jesus' birth, you will see that you're a stupid prophet, he said in the Quran. And allow me to use the word stupid because I cannot find better description. And this will answer your question and show everybody your ignorance. Isn't it your Quran says that Jesus he spoke in the cradle? Chapter 19, verse number 29. That's mean that Jesus is not like your prophet who waited 40 years to speak. To say, I'm a prophet. Jesus is born with the word of God. And your stupid Quran confirmed that. So you just brought an insult to your stupidity and to your God. So how you say to us, Jesus is just a prophet and this child just born and he did not get Jibreel to squeeze him. Jibreel did not come to him and say, read, iqra, squeeze him three times. He is born and he have the teaching and the word of God. So my friend, according to your stupid Quran, Jesus is the walking, talking, living word of God. He never received revelation from anyone. He never been given Jibreel. He never been taught. He is the one who was teaching even when he is one second old. Anything else? Do you see guys how, you see what we do here is to teach you how to refute them from their own books. If you try to explain to them from the Bible, those people, they will make fun of you. They are, this is a religion of mockery. And this is why the only thing work with them is a mockery. They try to make a mockery of everybody. But can he now say this is not true? So this is why I say to the Christians, instead of going and opening your Bible and so on and verses, they are just trying to keep you busy so you will not expose their God and his rooster. And I challenge anyone to explain to me, how come Muhammad, he waited 40 years? I mean, 40 years Muhammad was waiting for what? Mm -hmm. Is it because of a miracle? Thank you very much. How come this miracle never happened with anyone? And what kind of miracle? How come Allah could not make Muhammad speak when he is in the cradle? And how come Jesus did not need to be taught by Jibreel? And how come he himself is telling you right away and he is just one second old? So when you say it's a miracle, I agree. Jesus himself is the miracle. We just, we got that. And God is a miracle, my friend. See, God, he do miracles to you and to me. But in the case of Jesus, he is the miracle. Like God can recover you. We say it's a miracle. God can recover me. That is a miracle. God can split the sea. That's a miracle. But in the case of Jesus, he is a miracle. In the same time, you will notice that your prophet was a horrible miracle of Allah. Allah told him three times, read, still he cannot read. He squeezed him three times, still he doesn't understand. He spent his life and he dies, still he cannot read. And this is why we see a lot of funny stuff in your Quran. Uh, Jesus was supported by the Holy Spirit. Well, hold on. I just showed you that Jesus just born. Where is the support? Show me. Did Jibreel say to him, let me teach you? Go ahead, show me. Secondly, when you say that Jesus was supported by the Holy Spirit, we have no problem with that. Because the Holy Spirit for us is a second person, is other person in the Trinity. But you Muslim, you say it's Jibreel. Well, nowhere in the Quran it says it's Jibreel. 
you photoshop the Quran and you say Jibreel if we type right now the Holy Spirit what do you find let me type it what you will find you will find the Muslims they add the word Jibreel but there's no Jibreel in the Quran photoshop see it says Ruhul Qudus Al Qudus mean the holy the holiness and Ruh mean spirit is Jibreel is a spirit the Quran says it appeared to Mary as a perfect man. You Photoshop the Quran and you add words there, they are not there. And here when you say, and we supported him by the Holy Spirit, can you show me where it says that we supported Muhammad with the Holy Spirit? The Quran says that we sent the Quran with the trustworthy spirit. right or inspired but nowhere it says Jibreel same time the Quran confirm that angels are not spirit because the Quran said the following in the day where all the angels and the spirit they will stand on rank do you see it the day and the day that the spirit and the angels if the angels are a spirit, then this verse is wrong. Because you are saying the angels and the spirit, that means they are two different category, as you see. So you must then you try to find, to figure out who is the Holy Spirit, because it was a theft from us, and you have no idea what it is. The same as the rest. If we ask you what debris mean, you do not know. If we ask you what the Holy Spirit mean, they don't know. Actually, they asked Muhammad about the Holy Spirit. Do you know what he said? Read and love. Imagine you come to me and you say to me, let's say I claim to be a prophet. And then you ask me, okay, what prophet, what prophet, hey prophet, what the spirit is, what is the spirit? And then I go for two weeks, three weeks, and I eat all the zucchini and hummus and uh, camel urine drink, and etc. And then I come to you saying this. And this they ask you, O Muhammad, concerning the ruh, between the bracket, the spirit. Say, the ruh is one of the things of the knowledge of my Lord. What is the answer? The answer is this is the knowledge, of Allah, but the Allah is talking. If the one is talking is Allah, how you say to them, Allah say to me to say to you that the knowledge about the spirit is with Allah. Where is the answer? It doesn't matter. Okay, let us see. He said they asked the human being, what is the spirit? Doesn't matter. So didn't you say to them, what is the spirit? Isn't it the one who is talking? Let us say this is about normal spirit, not about the Holy Spirit. Even though it's not really speaking about anything like that, it just says Ruh. And remember, Ruh is a word meaning spirit. And this is the same word you Muslims you use when you speak about Jibreel. You claim that he is the Ruh. All right, but right away you will see, and if we willed, we could surely take away that which we have revealed to you by what? By inspiration, by who? By the Ruh. And the word inspiration here is absolutely wrong because Muhammad never received inspiration. Muhammad he received quotation. If I come to your door and I give you a message by my lips, how in the world you say this is inspiration? What kind of Arabic does God he speak? He do not know the difference between inspiration and message. As an example, the angel came to Mary. He said to her, blessed are you Mary. Is that inspiration? She was inspired. Or this is a message was delivered. 
If you say she was inspired, that means Mary, she was a prophet. Any answer? So because you're a prophet, you do not know what he's talking about. He always, he run and hide behind the corner. The Jews, they were asking Muhammad that a human soul, doesn't matter where's the answer. I can answer you about a human soul. This is the power of life, which God, he gave. How come your God could not answer the question? But Muhammad, because he is just a joker, he do not know what to say. Do you need to be a genius? To answer this question, isn't it the Quran says, and we breathe into him? Isn't it the Quran that says that Jesus, he breathed into the mud or the figure of the bird, and he made it a living bird? So breathing simply is what gives life. That breathing is the spirit. Isn't it the Quran says, and we breathe into her or her vagina from our spirit? So how come he could not answer? Because simply he is a fabricator. He had no answer. He don't know what to do. When they asked Muhammad how you will die, uh, you are a prophet. Do you know how you will die? He says, if I die or get killed. Like what? There's a third option. It's like you say to me, my wife, she is going to deliver a baby in maybe seven months from now. Can you prophesy what the baby will be? I say, is it either a girl or a boy? Genius. This is a prophecy. If he die or get killed, why he is not sure that I, this is Allah talking. This is not even Muhammad talking. If he die or get killed. Why? Because Muhammad, when he made this verse, he did not know how he will die. He have a lot of enemies. He killed a lot of people. If he die or get killed. See, it is not Muhammad saying, if I die or get killed, then I will understand because he did not know the future. This is the God saying to Muhammad, if, you, if he die or get killed. How come then Jesus, he knew that he is going to be killed? He did not say, if I die or get killed. Are you there? Even the forgiveness of Muhammad, Muhammad is not sure. Allah is not sure. So when the Quran speak about Muhammad, he have sin. Okay, are you going to forgive his sin? Or you will not. The Quran says, maybe, may Allah forgive your sin. May Allah forgive your sin. Okay, so uh, is he going to forgive him or not? Who is the one saying, may Allah forgive your sin? Allah saying, may Allah forgive your sin? Yes, Allah is saying in chapter 48, verse number 2. May Allah forgive your sin. So obviously this verse is written by Muhammad. He is asking Allah to forgive his sin. And he's making it as somebody told him to say so. All right. Jibreel delivered the revelation to all the messengers. That's a lie. Is it the Quran says that Allah He gave Moses the Torah and He wrote it to him by His hand? And now show me where in the Quran it says that Jesus He received revelation. Show me in the Quran where it says that Jibreel He received, sorry, uh, uh, Jacob He received revelation by, uh, by Jibreel. That is a lie, my friend. According to your funny prophet, Moses. He received the whole Torah written by the hand of Allah. And not only Moses, even Abraham. This is why it says, Suhuf Ibrahim wa Musa. What is a Suhuf? 
the tablets so how come Allah did not give Muhammad Suhuf and look here it runs it as the scriptures but Suhuf is way more than the scriptures change the translator you will see a different story as usual the book of Abraham but by the way what is the book of Abraham any Muslim can tell me the book of Abraham what is the book of Abraham what happened to the book of Abraham same time when you say to me that Jibreel he deliver a message to your prophet let us examine one of the message as an example When a Jew he came to him and he asked him what is there's a question nobody knows the answer for them except a prophet of God so this person he want to examine Muhammad is a prophet a prophet or not so what was the question he said to him I have three questions which nobody knows the answer save a messenger of Allah what is the first sign of the hour what is the first food people will eat in paradise which is a very funny question why does a child attract similarity to his father or his mother Muhammad said, Jibreel has just now informed me. Be my witness. Who is the one who informed him? Jibreel. So this is an answer from Allah, not an answer from a person who's making things up. So it's confirmed that Allah, he sent Jibreel immediately. And by the way, isn't it the Quran says that it take 1,000 years for the angel to come down? The guy, he just asked you the question. It took you a day or two to get the answer. And then he said, and the, and, the, and the Jewish guy, he said to him, Jibreel, the enemy of the Jews, but you just told me that Jibreel is the one who gave the book to Moses. Why is the enemy of the Jews? Just love. The prophet said as the first sign of the hour, it will be the fire which could let people from the east and the west. We go to the Fahadith, we will see that the first sign is different. There's many Gog and Magog will come, many the Jal will come, certain number. There's Gog and Magog, they will open a hole, the, the, the sun will appear from etc. I mean, suddenly now it's the, 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 the fire will come, this is the first sign. And then, the first meal of the paradise will they eat the liver of the, the, the whale. Why? Because this is for sexual appetite. The Arab, they believe that there is a substance in the whale which is very good for sexual enhancement. So the first meal, Allah will give you the fish of the, the, the liver of uh, the whale. So your penis will be enjoying sexual enhancement. As for the child, he's asking him what is, how the child resembled his parents. He said, as of the child, attract similarity to the man. If what? If the proceed of the man, if the, if the discharge of the man proceed the woman, so let us go with you. Muhammad received inspiration from Jibreel. And actually he mentioned that in the hadith. How stupid is to say that if a man have orgasm first, the child will look like the father. I'm waiting for your answer. You see, now we have a hadith saying Jibreel told me. It's clear. He says Jibreel just inform me now. This is fresh news. We, 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 we breaking news. Jibreel has just now informed me so this is top-notch knowledge. Nobody knows about it. Save the Prophet of Allah. And what the knowledge is? That if a man have a discharge or orgasm first, the child will be a boy. And he will look like the father. What say you? Don't change the topic. He won't talk about judgment now. Abdul, don't change the topic. How come your prophet he received inspiration from Allah through Jibreel? And then he says such a stupid thing that if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy and will look like the father. I want your answer. Is that really from God? Or this is a stupid prophet making a stupid statement? Stop changing the topic. Jibreel will scared, uh, scared, be scared in the judgment. Who, who care about this? I'm asking you now. If Jibreel is the one who was delivering to Muhammad the message of God, 
What kind of a stupid God, he say, if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy and will look like the father. And if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a, a female and will look like the mother. And look now, he'll try to change topic. He don't want to talk about it no more. Suddenly, they are dead. They don't want this topic. You are the one who opened about Jibreel. Let us finish it. So Jibreel told him a message from his God, the following. If you have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy and will look like you. So now we knew what happened to Sheikh Uthman. Sheikh Uthman, I don't know, he looked like kind of a theme for me. So obviously the, the one who have, but he's a boy, supposedly, you know, it's his father then. His father have orgasm first. You are changing the topic, get lost. Get lost, you coward. You don't want to answer, right? See guys, you change the topic. No, we don't change the topic. We are proving that there's no way that Jibreel, the one is mentioned in the Bible, he is the one who is talking to Muhammad because he is saying stupid things here. Is it you who said to me, Jibreel is the one who gave to Musa? That's false. So I'm asking you now for the last time, otherwise I will block you and send you free shipping and handling. Don't waste my time. If Jibreel is the one speaking to Muhammad and Allah told Jibreel to tell Muhammad the message and this is the answer will prove that he's a prophet, not a false prophet. Actually, this examination proved that Muhammad is false because remember guys, the point of this question is what? If he gave the correct answer, that's mean he is a messenger of Allah. Read carefully. I will give you, I'm going to ask you about the three things which only a prophet can answer. Do you see it? So if you're a prophet, he gave false answer. You're a prophet is a false prophet. This is what the hadith is saying. So you, Muhammadan, follow a person who hijacked names and he claimed that Jibreel told him. Jibreel told him if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy, will look like the parent. And if a woman have orgasm first, the baby will look like will be a girl and will look like the parents. Is that the foolish Jibreel or the smart one? Get out of here. It have to do because this is a false Jibreel. Why you don't want to answer? We can go to any topic you want. We can continue with you. Why you don't want to answer? How Jibreel is the one who is talking to Muhammad and he says such a stupid thing. So are you agreeing or not that Muhammad here lied? Obviously Muhammad is a fraud. So Jibreel did not talk to him. He never even come to him. This guy is mentally ill, possessed, stupid. He says stupid things and people laugh. Those things was okay long time ago because we don't know. Maybe. I mean, this is something not like it's not for us to know at that time. I mean, we are not uh, that advanced in science, etc. But now this is a joke. So if this is coming from God and Jibreel told Muhammad that God told me to tell you and this is Sahih. So what we will do now? You don't believe that this hadith is true? Okay, do you believe in the Quran? Do you believe in the Quran? Yes or no? Snack or snake, whatever your name. Do you believe in the Quran or not? And here, by the way, you see, you notice that even if it's Sahih, right away they say, no, Da'if, here we go, he don't believe. That's it, it's not, that. it's not Sahih. Hmm? It says Sahih in front of us, is, is it up to you to say, I believe not? What this religion is about? Zucchini, bukini, for, like what is, the, are, you going, are you doing shopping? If your scholars say this is authentic, are you going to deny even the authentic? It's authentic. Sahih on muttafaqun alayhi. Let us go to the Quran. And you will see in a second, he will say, I don't agree with the Quran. Okay. By the way, I suppose to go live for 15 minutes and go. See what this thing does in your internet? Crazy internet. All right, let us go to the internet and, uh, sorry, go to the Quran and laugh. Read with me, Abdul. This is Quran. Don't tell me now that this is not from Jibreel. 
Then we made the sperm into a clot of congealed blood. I want you to tell me, according to which donkey in the world they believe that a sperm will become a dead blood? The one who's asking me, are you to debate? We are welcome anybody to debate me. Don't tell me, are you going to debate this? Are you doing this? Everybody is welcome. If there are men, here we go, I'm here. Give me your Skype, I will call you. I will talk. If you are a scholar or a sheikh, I will be happy to call you. I will call you. So don't ask me your funny, funny question. You know, are you going to debate this guy? Are you gonna... I'm here. All of them are welcome. Zach and Naik, uh, his, his, uh... by the way, Zach and Naik, he have his son, he's doing business too. Look at little chicken. Hmm? Chickens, all of them, they are scared of me. Now, do you agree with this verse or this is a fabrication? Snack, are you there? Do you agree with this verse or this is a fabrication? I'm so close to the mic. Maybe I need to put my microphone at the end of the room. Why guys, I'm so, my voice so strong. Are you searching Google? What happened? What about other 100,000 Sahih Hadith? Look, he changed the topic now. He changed the topic. Do you see how he changed the topic? I'm asking you Quran now. We will go to the 1,000 Hadith, you are mentioning them, and you are saying they are miracles, and we will die laughing. Where is the answer? I'm giving you Quran. Alaqa, clinging clot, leech, not a clot. Guys, it doesn't say, here we go. So why you are saying there it is a blood? Okay, hold on. Hold on, just wait. You will die laughing. The comedy. Very silly, stupid religion. He will explain to me now. He will exp he is the he, he is a scholar, he knew. He is the one who knows. It doesn't say that Z B. All of them they are genius. Except they're scholars and they're tafsir. All of them they are donkeys. Only those who they are in YouTube, they are the one who can tell you the truth about anything. They are, brother. I mean you have to face it. Here we go. Look at this idiot. Forty days of fluid. Then a clot, then he is a clot for a similar period of time. Mithla dhalik. Mithla dhalik means for a similar time. So 40 days a liquid, 40 days a 40 days as a sperm, 40 days as a clot. And what a clot, it says clearly a congealed of the blood. But let us go with it. Your prophet in Sahih Hadith, very authentic, and this is what he is reading. He says it's going to be 40, 40, 40. Total is 120 days. A clot. So it starts getting a little bit harder. It becomes a bit solidified. It becomes uh, slightly more, uh, with, with slightly more, uh, what can we use, what word can we use for that? Uh, it, it's, it has form to it and it is not liquid anymore, but it is now becoming. So let us stop. According to the city Muhammad, a sperm will transform into a clot. Is that what science says? Is that what science says? The hadith doesn't say 40 days in Arabic. Let me take a screen of this, screenshot. And then I will block you. I think this is the same guy, you know, Muhammad Said. He sometimes he even use, use uh, Christian names. Hmm. This is what you said, right? In front of everybody, I'm going to show the reference and I will block you. Because you have no decency.
and now what you, when you see it you will say I don't agree with it right yeah <clears throat> Let us see. It doesn't say uh, 40 days, right? Coward. Read it, potato. And this is Sahih Muslim. When the drop of semen remains in the womb for 40 or 50 nights, where is your name? Let me block you. Potato. Get out of here. Don't come here. Don't waste my time. You see, I have all the patience with someone who claimed that, okay, I do not know. But somebody, he tried to argue with me. Either you are a donkey, you, you do not know what you are talking about, and then you have to admit, hey, Christian Prince, I'm not in your level. Take it easy on me. But when you claim that I am wrong and I'm lying, that is a different story. Does it say that the sperm will stay in the mother womb for 40 or 50 nights? According to which science? According to science, maximum five days. You're a prophet, he just adds zero next to it. The five became 50. And that's, it's not in the womb. The, the sperm will be in the womb for 50 days. In the womb. Where do you go? I did not block him yet. It doesn't say. Ah, here we go. It doesn't say in Arabic. <laughs> no, it says that. You idiot. Here we go. يدخل الملك على المطفى بعد ما تستقر في الرحم أربعين أو خمسين وأربعين ليلة. So you are a liar again and you are a fraud. It's in the front of you. The angel he come into the uh, guys, the angel Jibreel will go inside the mother vagina. And the Muslim, they say to you, well, how Jesus is born from his mother, you know, private part? This is the guy they call him the Holy Spirit, and they claim he's an angel. How many vagina he visited a day? I feel sorry for this angel. He can't breathe. Every day is getting in and out, in and out, in and out. And by the way, the translation is false because it did not say the rest. It says, The angel will enter in. Right? In Arabic, it says, When the sperm settle for 40. So thank you. So you are refuting me now? Guys, he is refuting me. Let me use what you just posted for me. This is a Muslim refuting me. This is the same guy, by the way, he changed his name. Read Allah. This is your answer, not mine. In Arabic it says, when the sperm settle for 40 or 50, 45 days. By the way, it doesn't say, yeah, it says actually 45 days, okay. and. When sperm settle for 45 days in the womb, it says it settle, not remain. Look at this is stupid. People, it says settle, not remain. <laughs> what settle mean? It's mean it's settling there. Do you know what settlement mean? Genius. And yeah, in this hadith doesn't say 50 actually, it says 45, you are right. Depend in the hadith because you're a prophet. And how do you ever, a prophet, Allah told him, and now he is not sure uh, uh, 40 or 45, in different hadith, maybe 50? Is that like zucchini, maybe five zucchini more, maybe five zucchini less? So you are the one who just said, it's settled. 
You see, English is not my first language. But as I know that settle mean is staying there. So now we have a prophet claiming that the sperm of the man go and have a vacation for 40 or for 40 or 45 days. Where? In the vagina. As what? As a sperm. Genius. And this is how they get me busted. Do you see why all of them they want to debate me face to face? Because they knew that this would never happen. I sit in here wearing my flip flap, flipping your profit with it. Why I want to go anywhere? You want to call me, call me. Coward. Potato. Chicken. And by the way, I apologize for calling him a chicken. Chicken are nice, tasty animals. You know, the Quran say, uh, says after the embryo is a lump, Allah give bones and skin and flesh. And he said after the 45th day, Allah will give the bones. Where it says, what? Well, hold on. First of all, according to your Quran, there is a word embryo. In the Quran, there is embryo. And now what we will do with this? Are you saying here, Muhammad, he lied there, he told the truth? Let us go to the Quran. Let us go to the Quran and let us laugh. Here we go. Brother, the Quran says, the brother, the Quran says, okay. So we made the sperm. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat is hurting. Do you know how many hours I'm speaking a day? We made the sperm into a clot. This is the first mistake because the sperm will never be a clot. Sperm, go, deliver the DNA message, activate the egg, and the egg will grow. Not the sperm. Correct? Do you agree or not? Then, this is the first mistake. Then you will become the guy there, he said the liquid, right? We can go now and open any Islamic interpretation and you will see all of them, they agree, it is congealed blood. Here we need to ask ourselves, why Muslims, they fabricate stories is not in their book. If I say to this guy now, can we go to Ibn Kathir? Can we go to Ajralain? Can we go to at tabari Do Muslim scholars, they knew what the word in Arabic mean? And those who they are in YouTube, they are no better. Who knows better what the word mean? Chapter 23, verse number 14. Let us see. Let us laugh. <laughs> and now what he will say to me, well, this scholar is an idiot. Or this scholar is a donkey. I agree. But he is donkey explaining the words of donkeys. Hmm. Do you see it? We transform the drop into a clot for another 40 days. This alone is enough to get you busted. And then we transform the clot into a lump into another 40 days. Total is 80. And then we transform the little lump into bones, which is flesh without a flesh. And then same 40 days. So now we have bones and there is nothing. The foolish Muhammad was trying to copy a verse from the Old Testament where it says you made me the same as a cheese. But this is a meditation about how God he created me. And then you close me with, with nerves and flesh, etc. So Muhammad tried to copy that verse, but as usual, because he had his own spices, and he became a doctor. So now we have what? What is the total of a woman to give birth? Sperm, alaqa, and mudra will be the same period of 40 days, not each 40 days. No problem. It's still 40 days. The total how many? Here we go. Let's go to the video. 
Who can explain it better than me or you or him? Let us see. If I explain it, you will say I don't agree. He will explain it to you. Go ahead. A little time. So 40 days a liquid, 40 days a clot. So it starts getting a little bit harder. Mm. It becomes a bit solidified. It becomes uh, slightly more uh, with with slightly more. Uh, what can we use? What word can we use for that? Uh, it, it's, it has form to it and it is not liquid anymore, but it is now becoming slightly solidified. So uh, the term alaqa actually refers to a clot of blood. So stop. Are you there, Abdul? The one who changed his name? The term Allah referred to what? What he said? I thought the Christian prince was wrong. And you were arguing with me. So the Mufti Mink is a certified donkey. And he is working for me to prove that Muhammad is a liar. And you said to me, it's not, it's not the blood. Where's your name? Where's your name? Where's your name? Do you apologize for being a donkey or you don't apologize? I want an answer. Why Mufti Mink, he says it is a clot of a blood if it's not? Mr. Sperm, are you there? The sperm expert, like he's a prophet, 40 days. Hey Shafiq, how are you, Shafiq? The one who is scared is the one who is hiding inside his mother womb. That is your sheikh, the chicken. We are here, where are you? Potato. So, when they lie, let me give you this uh, video, everybody download it. Because later when you debate Muslims, they will say to you, are lying, it doesn't say that, CP. Here we go. It is what? The sperm will turn into what? A blood? So Christian Prince in his book was not lying. How many Muslims they say brother is lying brother? Does it say blood brother? And they gave a translation for what's his name? Dr. Uh, what is this guy, the Canadian guy? And then he made a book laughing at the Quran, laughing at himself, saying stupid things about the Quran, saying it's scientific because they give him false translation. Christian Prince is, is, uh, is a lying brother. It doesn't say that brother. Like, has form to it and it is not liquid anymore but it is now becoming slightly solidified so uh, the term alaqa actually refers to a clot of blood so this clot why you do that mufti mink why you do that i mean how embarrassing how many Muslims now they are going to flag your video? Do you know that Muslims, they flag any Sheikh video who says something embarrassing? They flag Yasser Qadi video. Do you know the guy who says Allah have a hand, have a shin, have, you know, the, the guy, the terrorist? Oh, he speaks like a terrorist. I can't say he's a terrorist. Do you know him? They flag his videos, they take it down by one. Other scholar says, get out of here, coward. Muhammad Sayyid, Sayyid. Get out of here. Other scholars. It's up to you to choose the scholars. No, no other scholar says that. And all scholars agree that it is a blood. And there is scholars. Are you are you the, are you follow anyone or the prophet? The prophet said, or the false prophet said, 40, 40, 40. That's it. And there is scholars. Isn't it interesting that we show them their own big mouth scholars who want to make fun of the Bible and prove to you that the Christianity is false. And then they come on TV and they say all those stupid things. And supposedly we are the one who is lying. Actually, yesterday I stopped by this video by mistake. Thank God I stopped by this man. I'm going to record this. Hold on. Or I'm going to download it before the Muslim they flag it. Trust me, they will take it down. 
All the lies they say it is gone in a second. And this is a very trustworthy, you know, hey, uh, somebody tell Mimi and Fifi and Dudu to make a video for him to say, brother, you are lying, uh, brother. You are working with the Christian prince, brother, Habibi. Somebody Muslims make a video for this guy, tell, tell everybody, warn them, this guy is a liar. He is exposing the prophet. He is working for a Christian prince. I saw him with my own eye. Christian prince, he gave him a hamburger. Ham burger, not a, it's not beef burger, ham. I was there, brother. So anything is embarrassing, they try to deny it in the speed of light. Anyway, I'm not going to keep it longer. Don't forget to download these videos because later we will do some clean for my channel for many videos. Download everything you want to download before we take it down. With this, I want to say thank you. As you see, my voice is really not doing good. Too much chicken in one day. Too much chicken. And if you see the chicken, uh, peace be upon him. Sheikh Othman, say to him, don't forget to flag our videos, brother. You are a wonderful chicken. And now everybody see that how you are. You are the man. He went to YouTube and says, YouTube, save me. His video is, is killing me. What is the chicken right in this country? Don't you support the chicken right? What is the, where is the hero who I want to debate you? You go and you flag my videos. Like what? Really? Right. Anyway, by the way, this is not chicken, this is rooster. This is the same rooster which sat under the throne of Allah. You remember the story, the hadith? Did I post for you the link or not about the rooster thing? Did I post it? Let me post it. Because I don't want somebody later to send me an email saying, Christian Prince, can you give me the rooster hadith? Because I know you. I know you. This is the rooster hadith. It's priceless rooster. This is the only God who have a rooster, and this rooster is so big, because remember, the distance between every heaven and the other is 500 years, and this rooster, his head is touching the throne of Allah. So you can travel for thousands of years, and you don't even pass the first wing. Very huge rooster. Do you debate any Muslim? No, I don't debate Muslims, as you see. I'm challenging chickens. Do you debate Muslims? So what, what, what do you think we do here? But as you see, they're chicken. They don't. You are a Muslim. Why you don't debate me? Any Muslim is welcome. But we call them out. They chicken out. And they say, we're going to debate you only face to face. But we are on the internet or face to face. I'm not going anywhere face to face. Face to face. Face to face. I wish that the Muslims, they want to debate Allah face to face, or they ask Allah, you worship a God you never saw. And he himself, he said he speak from behind the veil. And by the way, as long as Allah, he speak from behind the veil, that's mean a veil can cover Allah. You see, in order for God to have a veil, he have to be smaller than the veil. Correct, guys? Have you ever heard of somebody? He is so big. He is Allah in the size of the heaven and the earth. And then he is speaking from behind the veil. The veil have to be bigger than him. Same time, how Allah, his light is so amazing, yet a little veil can cover his light. Is that a bathroom curtain? How a curtain can stop the light of Allah. Uh, Christian Prince, you are not uh, up to date. You mentioned the same 
point every time my friend next time I'm going to create a new Quran for you so we can update you is that a news we update you idiot this is a book written 1400 years ago so do you want me to me you you are not up to date you are mentioning the same points and why you are here are you stupid if I mention the same point why you are here why you are still here go watch cartoon cartoon they have a new cartoon every day what I will do this is the book and this is the topic you have to give us a new points you know I'm, as if I'm working for the guy you know like an like entertainment show I'm going to cut my service with you I'm not going to subscribe to your cable it's for free nobody is forcing you to come here me go and make better point, points points and this is actually absolutely false each time we go live on air we say something new but depending on the topic the new things will come with the topic depending on the person what he say to me what I say to him but anyway actually this guy is even better than the other guy the other guy he says to me how come you don't say the word does like what why you don't say does but, but what does okay it is not thus fitting for a man to does that Allah does should speak in him uh, to him except by does in inspiration are you happy now I mean you you got here the most funny weird people somebody when I give me a, a like a English class the other one is bored you know give me something new you know I'm uh, come on uh, uh, what's wrong with people nobody is forcing you to come here don't don't come how come you don't say does I don't like does do you like it it sounds like a German for me like does like what the heck is that you does it yourself you go does as much as you want you know what you can join Disneyland in Disneyland you can you can like you will you will be like fun you don't say does Somebody told you I open an English school here. I'm teaching you. I'm Shakespeare. I am. What's wrong with people? At the end of the day, everyone does what he does, and and, and you can does does many dozen, you know. And who does care about what does doesn't you know? <laughs> I mean, you know, if God, if those people, God, he did not, they, 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 they complain about him. God, so who am I? They want to design God as they want. Hey, God, come on, what is this? Oh, you send us, you come to us and the look of a man? What kind of God you are? <laughs> they, you see, the hypocrisy is that they want their imaginary things to happen but the funny is those people they cannot change anything in their own life can you as an example can you change your mother-in-law as long as you are a does person who can does change things and you, that the world does working for you and the guy who have new idea what about you have a new idea now how you can change your life let us see Aren't you bored? You wake up every morning, you eat a breakfast. Every day. You go to the boss, he tell you eat it while you are late. Every day. Change it. And don't come to my page every day. Obviously, you are coming here every day, and now you are saying I'm repeating the same point. We repeat points over and over because we have to explain things, and always there's new people who come here. Maybe you are here from a while. Maybe you are first day. This is not a building where we have only employees. This is open internet. There's people, they just stopped here two minutes ago. So when you say that to somebody is doing what he do to help you and for free, you are very rude. You don't go to the restaurant of somebody and tell him, and he is giving you the food for free. And you tell him the same food every day? How rude. 
Anyway. Gonna talk, take that offer. Yeah, sure, we took the offer. If we were a burqa, that's a good deal because you Muslims are the people of burqa, not us. According to the Old Testament, those who were burqa are the prostitutes. So when your prophet, he ordered the burqa, he don't look at your mother in a good way. So ask yourself, this potato who speak about burqa, who was wearing burqa when he was shaken in front of David Wood and he called him bra, even though David Wood, the one ate the Quran and he gave him five. Who is the one who is the female here? Why he was afraid that David Wood will eat him? You call the guy who ate the Quran just a few weeks ago, you call him bro and you give him five. Why you don't take selfie with them? Why you don't sit in his lap? And you say to him, MashaAllah, you are six foot tall. MashaAllah. You know what, what I was afraid of? That David Wood will bring with him the leftover of what he ate from the Quran because he dumped it somewhere in the toilet seat. I'm afraid that he will bring it in a box and give it to them. He says, hey guys, this is the Quran I ate. It came out as a, you know, fertilizer. Hmm. My friend hijab in Arabic also mean barrier. Suppose this guy, he made it better. He fixed it. Okay. How Allah light can be stopped by a barrier? You see, laser can melt steel. Now you are saying to me, there is a material, it's called barrier, and that is the one who will stop the light. And then when you say to me barrier, is that according to who? According to your prophet or according to your fiction? Shall we go now and see the interpretation for the verse? Mr. Barrier? And if it's a barrier, why you Muslim you say veil? Do you see the word veil? Why you don't say barrier? Because I said how funny it is, suddenly now it became a barrier. It was a veil for the last 1400 years. From now on, it's a barrier. To avoid the embarrassment. Right? If we go, we can go right now and check the you know the interpretation for the verse. In some other translation it says barrier. Well, how you can say barrier when it says hijab? Everybody knows what hijab is. Hijab have to be a fabric. Same time, let us say it's a barrier. Let us say it's a wall. Allah is hiding behind the wall. Why? Do you have an answer? Is he a female and he is naked? And if hijab is a barrier, that means Muslim women, they should not wear burqa because barrier is something you put between me and you, not something in the top of you. Correct, people? And by the way, I'm not against the word hijab to be considered as a, a curtain, not a barrier, as a curtain. Because even the Quran says in different place that if you want to talk to the wives of Muhammad, you have to talk to them from behind a curtain, hijab, and the word behind is there. Read with me carefully. And this is a proof that Muslims do not know their book and their religion. It doesn't say they are wearing hijab. It says from behind a barrier. Read carefully. Sorry, a, a, a veil. So read with me here. From behind a screen. Here we go. Here is a screen, which means a curtain. Do you see it? Behind not in the top of them. The word hijab is not something you put in the top of your head. 
it is something between you and the other person and that is a curtain but you are teaching who blind people as an example just to show you how Muslims are the last one to know if you ask any Muslim do Muhammad know how to write how to read they will say uh, no why he said uh, well uh, you know it says he is uh, illiterate it says that yes it says that who, who, illiterate which means he did not know how to write to read yes it says that you go to the Quran chapter 2 verse number 78 you will find this they are among them illiterate who know not the book do you see the illiterate illiteracy the word umiyin is a gomai this is what the Jews they say if somebody is a stupid which means he don't believe in the true God he is a fool for them he is a stranger he is outsider he is illiterate so illiteracy never was about in, in the in the term of religion about knowing how to write how to read it's about knowing the book of God and the Quran confirmed that all over the place so between them there is illiterate who know not the book Do you see it? And then you will see another verses as an example. Chapter 3, verse number 20. If this and so if they dispute with thee, say, I have surrendered, not submitted, my whole self to Allah, and so have those who follow me, and say to the people of the book, and those who they are unlearned. This is the word ummi. Unlearned. And learned about what? Compare people of the book and those who they are unlearned. So according to Quran, anyone who is a Christian or a Jew, he is a person who is not illiterate, for he is the people of the book. Do you see it? Those who do not have a book, they are unlearned, illiterate. And then you will find a Muhammad and he says to you, this is about Muhammad, you do not know how to write or how to read. Do you understand people? There's only a living people who can write and read. My friend, I can show you a hadith about your prophet. He knew how to write, how to read. And actually, I can show you that the Quran never finished according to your Muslims. Isn't it your prophet? He says, bring me a pen and a paper so I will write you a book. You will not be misled after me. Let me show you the hadith. How Muhammad do not know how to write, how to read. And then he says, bring me to write for you. He did not only say, bring me a pen. He says, bring me material of writing so I can write for you a book which will not let you ever misguided. And let us show you the hadith. <clears throat> when I say Muslims are ignorant, I really, I'm not insulting. I feel sorry for them. Truly, truly, I feel sorry for them. Read carefully. This is Sahih Bukhari. So you don't say to me, this is weak and daif and this garbage. When he was dying, Muhammad, he said what? What he said? Read carefully and die laughing. Bring to me writing paper. I will write for you a statement after which you will not go astray. Omar al Khattab, he said, the prophet is seriously ill, which means he lost his mind. Look at this Omar al Khattab making fun of Muhammad. Because the guy now is dying, so they are making fun of him. Are you there? And are you going to say to me now, this is a weak hadith? This is Al-Bukhari. And this is why they don't dare to debate me, because whatever they say, we will shut them up in the speed of light. 
not like other Christians who want to talk about philosophy. So your God is like, uh, you know, my God is like a tree. Uh -huh. So he is the composite. What is this talk about? Hit him. Hit him with a serious question. Hit him. Ask him serious things. Not stay away from the stupid philosophy, philosophers. It take you nowhere because it is an opinion. Anyone can say anything. You want to debate religion, hit the religion in the head. What they do? They go after philosophy. Muhammad, let a scribe write things for him. Well, because he is a king, he let people write for him, but obviously he is not here. Isn't it the hadith says, actually, According to the Hadith, even Muhammad he knew Hebrew. Guys, do you remember when when the when the Jews they asked Muhammad about punishment of stoning to death? Do you remember that one? When Muhammad he took the Torah, he said, "Bring me the Torah." And one of the Jews he put his finger over the words. And then the Quran, there's a chapter about it or a verse about it that you have al kalama and mawadihi. So a guy he put his finger over it, and Muhammad he discovered that you are hiding the verse. How Muhammad he knew that they are hiding the verse if you don't speak Hebrew. The Torah is not in Arabic. How he knew that the stoning to death verse is here. And how he knew that the stoning word is there and the guy is putting his finger over it. Unless he knew Hebrew. Don't go there. In the same time, look at the stupidity of this verse. I've been sent to illiterate nation. You are, you are still stupid. You see, you're still illiterate. Illiter we just showed you the Quran, you idiot, saying, we send you to illiterate, which the one who don't have a book. This is why Christians and Jews, they are called people of the book. Those who don't have a book, they are called illiterate. Donkey. I mean, where does people come to me from? How many times I need to show you the verses? People of the book. People of the book. Are you saying all the Christians at that time, they knew how to write, how to read? So the Quran says, those who don't have a book, they are illiterate, idiot. And they say to me, why you get upset? The people of the book and those who they are illiterate. So who is the one is illiterate? Is anyone who don't have the book of God? You Muslims are following a bunch of foolish, stupid scholars, and they call themselves scholars. When the Quran is so clear. And you can change the translation as much as you wish. You see, there are some people, they don't want to see the truth. Even the truth is in the front of them. The Quran says clearly there is two kinds of people. People of the book and people who has no book. Those who has no book are illiterate. Very simple. And here with the word in front of you. لِلَّذِينَ آتُوا الْكِتَابُ وَالْأُمِّيِّينَ Sorry, وَالْأُمِّيِّينَ Do you see it? <coughs> Do you see it? Do you see the word أُمِّيِّين? So you say your prophet is أُمِّي. أُمِّي simply is a gomai, is a person who is an idiot about God, not about writing and reading. Your prophet used to work for Khadija. He's doing business. He did not know how to write, how to read. People, they can fool him. Nobody work in business, trade business, without knowing how to write, how to read, and how to do it with numbers. So stop being arrogant 
and being a foolish. The prophet said, we are a literate nation. We neither write nor no account. Okay, hold on. Guys, the prophet, he says we are a literate nation. We do not neither write or read. Your prophet, he's talking about you in general, all of you. He just, he just admitted that we are a stupid nation. And you are taking the hadith in the meaning you want against the Quran. The Quran divide between people who write and read. And when your prophet says, bring me a pen and material to write for you, I will write for you. He did not say, bring me a scribe. People already around him. He did not need to say, bring me material. He said, he can say, write this. He is still, he is their king. And I agree. You are a nation of illiterate. You do not know how to write, how to read. And if we go with you, that you are a nation of illiterate who do not know how to write, how to read. So who was writing? It must be somebody else. Because you just said we are people who do not know how to write, how to read. All of us. Are you going to say there is exception? If you say this is exception, that means this is not true. The statement is false. Because we are not a nation who do not know how to write, how to read no more. The word Ummi is about being ignorant about God. And the Quran witness every time you see in the Quran the word Ummi, you will see it says illiterate about God. Read with me. Chapter 3, verse number 75. The Christians, the people of the book, the Jews, they said to them, forget about those stupid, the illiterate. Why they are calling them illiterate? Because they are pagan. Read with me. Potato. Do you see it? The word ignorant here, translating the word illiterate. What between two brackets? Pagans. Your Muslims are pagans. And the Quran confirmed that. Are you with me? Is it me who put the word pagans there, or this is your Muslim translation? Hmm. Muhammad explained the word Ummi in the Hadith, illiterate about reading or writing. Stop using your interpretation. I'm not using my interpretation, I'm showing you Quran. And you are the one is being a liar. Because nowhere Muhammad, he said, I do not know how to write. He said, I am a Nabiul Ummi. And we showed you why he's on me. He's a pagan. He don't have a book. And the Quran, if you go to chapter 2, as an example, chapter 2, the last two verses, it says that Muhammad never received a book and he is on me. He is a certified idiot. Here we go. And for sure, we can show you other chapters, but let's go there. The last two verses in the chapter of Al-Baqarah, what it says, The Messenger of Allah believe in what has sent down to, for him from his Lord. And so do the believers. Okay? And what he believe in? He believe what Allah he sent him. What he sent him? Revelation. When the Quran came to Muhammad, what the angel says to Muhammad? Read. If Muhammad do not know how to read, that means Allah is a stupid. Because the Arabic word read means to read. Iqra. Not to repeat. Because Muhammad already repeated after him. He says, read what? There's no way Muhammad saying, I cannot read. Because he just said to you, I mean, he cannot recite or repeat after you. So if Muhammad says to him, I cannot read, then I will understand, says Muhammad confirmed that. But if you go to the hadith, you will see the following. He says, Ma ana biqari. Read what? And you foolish you. 
You see it and you know the mean and you know Arabic. ما أنا بقارئ. I'm going to read what. He did not say, I cannot read. This is your fiction. The Arabic saying, ما أنا بقارئ. I will read what. Hmm? Yeah, you know, keep repeating the same hadith. Here we go in front of you. I will read what? When the angel, he said to him, read. Did the angel make a mistake? I want your answer. Was it a mistake? Is the word read mere recite? Okay, he repeat himself. Get lost again. Hey, the same guy, he keep coming. See the stupidity? Muhammad, he said, supposed to the angel, Ma ana biqari, what I shall read. Because the stupid angel, he told him, read. Actually, there's a hadith saying that when the angel came to Muhammad, he gave him a book in his hand. Let me try to find it. Stupidity is amazing. <clears throat> Here we go. Just to show you how stupid you are, you are talking to Christian Prince. That will make you not to sleep for the coming century. Let me make it more clear. Hold on. It says here. Uh, When Jibreel, he came to Muhammad. And he said to him, let us see if this is the correct hadith. Uh, this is not the one we want, hold on. Yeah, this is not the one. Maybe it's not in English, but anyway, I can show it to you here. Give me a second. And now they will cry. This is the Islamic website Islam on Sual and Wajawab. Question What was meant when Jibreel he said to him when the when the Messenger of Allah says Ma ana biqari? Hear the answer. The hadith. أتاني جبريل بنمط من ديباج أو بنمط من ديباج فيه كتاب. So Jibril he come to him with a book covered by fabric or some kind of material. Oh hold on, you don't see my screen. Sorry. Let me put the screen. So Jibreel, he come to Muhammad and he gave him a book and he told him, that is a book, have no question about it. La rayba fi. Let us translate. Use English translation. Does it say that Jibreel, he come to him and he have a book in his hand? Let us see. Oh. Uh, What is the answer? The word answer. Hey, the answer is here. Okay. 
The scholar saying that peace be by the prophet he says okay and then you know and the prophet he says to him read okay and then okay and then he says he come to him with a book which was written translation is not too much accurate and he said to him read meaning what is in this book do you see it potato this is in your books so you Muslims you fabricate stories and you go against your own. So now Muhammad, he received a book or he did not receive a book? And if the angel, he gave him a book and Muhammad do not know how to read, that's when Muhammad is way stupid and the angel, I should know, not Muhammad is stupid, is the angel is stupid. Because why is giving him a book? And if Muhammad receive a book, that's mean all the story of the Quran is a fabrication. Because already he have all the Quran. He gave him the book. <laughs> Stupidity is amazing. What we can say? Brother. أَتَانِي جِبْرِيلٌ بِنَمَطٍ مِنْ ذِبَاجِ فِيهِ كِتَابٌ قَالَ اِقْرَأْ قُلْتُ مَا أَنَا بِقَارِئْ He did not say, I cannot read, actually. He said, read what? Where? What? A bunch of ignorant. فَتْحُ الْبَارِ فِي شَرْحِ صَحِيحِ الْبُخَارِ And this is the hadith. And let me pause the link for you. Let us be sure here that the hadith is there. Hold on. I don't see the text here. Here we go. This is the website here. And now for sure they will say to you this is approved not approved and you know the game you know the game shubhat ummiyat rasulullah wa kitabahu alquran wa inkar sunnah wa qiraatahu here they are answering you they are saying that this is an accusation that the prophet did not know how to write how to read okay Uh, here they are asking you if you somebody says to you something you don't like ab about Islam put your fingers in your ears look at the genius answer yeah and here they are saying to you this is a story it is a morsel it's not trustworthy about Jibreel that he brought a kitab yeah what do you say because this will destroy all of us now In the other hand, if Muhammad he knew how to write or he don't, still he is a stupid. A person who says what he says about Nutfa and Alaqa, the women she have a sperm coming from her ribs, the man have a sperm coming from his backbone, a person who think the earth is flat and the sun set in murky water, a person who come with all the stories in chapter 18, the flying carpet, chapter 27, the talking ants, all the madness. Muhammad do not know how to read or he know how to read. Muhammad is the idiot of the village. When somebody says to us that there is a God who made somebody die standing and for a year nobody noticed that he is dead because he was standing over his stake. I have to confirm that he is a stupid person, illiterate, ignorant. And illiteracy here is not about knowing how to write, how to read. 
It's about being a stupid person who believe in such a garbage story. And those stories, by the way, Muhammad, he learned from the Jews. Those are called the legions of the Jews. The Jews, they have tons of stories about Suleiman. He have a ring, control the world, genie built for him, they tell it to their children. The stupid Muhammad, he heard those stories. And now because he is illiterate, not in writing or reading, because he is illiterate with his stupidity, he is occupied with his stupidity, he believed those stories. And then he claimed that God told him this story. When in fact, this is nothing but a lie. Who in the world would believe that there is somebody died on a stake and he was dead for a year and nobody noticed? And I mentioned this one, I will mention it always, for this is a very easy way to show everybody how stupid this book is. A king who have a genie controlling the world. He wore a ring. He had a flying carpet. And he used to have a flying horse too. And then one day he got angry and he slaughtered the horse. A king who the bird fly in the top of him to keep him in shape. Not to mention the poo, poo This is your book. Right? If Muhammad could read and write, why he did not write the Quran and made it into a book? Well, according to your, your Muslims, Hafsa she have a Quran. Aisha she have a Quran. The daughter of Abu Bakr, the daughter of uh, Omar, the daughter of uh, all of them they have Quran, Quran of Fatima. So how are all of them, they do not know how to write, how to read, but all even the girls, the women, they have Quran. Who wrote them for the, who wrote the Quran for Fatima? Who wrote the Quran for Hafsa? Same time, my friend. If you're a prophet, you're going to be stubborn. You say he, he does not know how to read. No problem. Still, he's a donkey. This is the point. If he knew how to read or he did not know how to read, that will not change the fact that he is an idiot. Prove me wrong. This is a book of God. In the book of God, it says that Allah, he ordered Suleiman to build synagogue full of statues. And the translation tried to hide the word statues. I thought the statues is around. Why he have his statues there? Look, the translation is gone. There's no statues. Look at this. It says here, and look what kind of Arabic this Arabic is. Allah, he told his messenger, Solomon, to build a house for God is full of idols. Aren't you Muslim, you say, all oh, those are idols? How come it's okay now, and those are idols for what? Any Muslim have an answer? How it is wrong to have idols, and then you Muslims, you say the Quran is the book of God, never been changed. And then we find that this Quran saying, Allah, he order Suleiman to build idols, to make statues. In this translation, this appear, Photoshop religion. This is the Quran. Is it, isn't it your prophet says the one who make an image? So what a surah, Allah will bring him to blow in it in the as a punishment in the judgment day, and he said to him, make it alive. So how this guy is a Suleiman and he is a messenger of Allah and he is a Muslim, and then his God order him to make statues. I am not giving you interpretation according to my own. The verse in front of you, even this one need interpretation? It says the statues. Even, guys, even this one need interpretation. The Quran says that the genie they built for him, synagogue with arch and images and the statues, and then said to me, you are making your own interpretation. Can you believe it?
So how this is going to be from God? And now because they are making for him statues, and now he died early, before they finish, Allah, he made them not to notice by making him standing dead. Who care? You see, your answer is very funny. Who care if it's about... Guys, Suleiman dealt with demons who work with magic. Look at the stupid answer. Look at this stupid... Today, you're, you know how to write, how to read, right? And look at your answer. This is after you get education. Look at this. Suleiman dealt with demon who work with magic. What does this have to do with building statues? Secondly, how is stupid to believe that somebody have a ring he can control the demon? The demon. Number three, you idiot. Since when you Muslim believe in demons? Demons are a spirit. The genie are not. Number four, as long Suleiman he controlled them by the ring. Is that the power in the ring or the power with God? The answer, the power in the ring. And according to your prophet, he said, or the story reported, that when he went to the bathroom, he leave his ring with his wife. One of shaitans came to him, or to the wife, and he took the ring from her. So according to your religion, the power of God is not with God. It is in a magical ring. And whoever wear it, he controlled the demon, as you call them. But they are not demon; they are genie. I don't care if you are rude or not, but you are stubborn. I wish you are just rude. You are just stubborn. I'm asking you now. Do you really believe that the power of God was in the ring, and whoever wear it, he controlled the, all the all the genie? Is that really what your religion is about? The story says that the, 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 the shaitan, he took the ring from the wife and then he wear it right away, he controlled everything. And the funny, the story is so amazing, stupid. He start having sex with the wives and the wives, they notice that he is so hot and he never stop. He keep doing boom, boom, non-stop. So they notice that this is going to be their husband. So they come and they told the elders how hot their husband become because he looked like him. So you Muslim now, you adopt another story about the cloning. Not only Jesus, he being cloned. No, Suleiman being cloned. Not only Suleiman and Jesus, even Jibreel, your prophet, he says, Atani Malakun. There's an angel come to me, but he's shaitan. And he looked like Jibreel. Yuqaylahu al -abiyad. So, according to your religion, a cloning is a joke. Shaitan, he cloned Jibreel. He gave him satanic verses. Allah, he cloned Jesus. Shaitan, he cloned, cloned Suleiman. Now, the question is, how you can be sure that Muhammad himself was, was not a clone of Shaitan? How do you know? How long you Muslims you spread those lies about cloning? How we can trust that Jibreel is Jibreel? As long everybody can clone everybody and look like him. So your story is, is beyond stupidity. And look at this guy, Black Stone Kisser, saying Christian Pagan. Go kiss the Black Stone, Black Stone Kisser. Don't forget to kiss the Black Stone and don't forget to go and kiss the statues which Suleiman was building. And don't forget to take in your way the flying carpet, pagan, so you can arrive to the black stone before it's too late. And don't forget to wait for the crescent moon, pagan, so you can worship your God. Anyway, guys, I was going to go, actually, leave a long time ago, but... We, you know we have to stay here to answer some people and you know it's endless god names was engaged on the ring that's even more stupid 
that's even more stupid answer guys god names was in in uh, uh, uh look 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 at this guy i don't know what you eat but obviously what you eat is hilarious look at this why suleiman he have controlled the world with his ring brother the answer is very simple name god's name was engraved in the ring how stupid he did so if god names engraved in the ring how shaitan he can put god names in his hand squeeze it and control everything that's mean allah he have no control of the ring whoever wore it he have the power This is exactly what happened in the fiction movie, the, the Lord of the Ring. Whoever got the ring, he become the king. And now you are telling me that you are a person who believe in science, and now you believe that there is a name written, the name of Allah written in the ring. Okay, I will make a ring now, make a write Allah on it. The one who speak about child predator, my friend, is your prophet who married six. He married six years old girl. It is you, faithy prophet. You brought that to your prophet. It's your prophet who promised you little kids in heaven. They are naked and they are beautiful. And you are talking about predators. This is a religion of predators. Because you see a woman as a vagina. Your prophet says the women she have ten aura, ten vagina. Even her voice is a vagina. Her hands is a vagina. Her feet is a vagina. Her hair is a vagina. You are following a religion of sex predator. This is why you see in porn stand, number one country searching for porn is Pakistan. They beat everybody. Because the God of the vagina, he made you a vagina believer. And they go around and they call us names. The demon asked Suleiman, first of all, idiot, stop saying demon. In Islam, there's no demon. Guys, the demon asked Suleiman to have the ring. <laughs> the demon brother they asked Suleiman to have the ring brother <laughs> the demon asked Suleiman to have the ring and Suleiman gave it to him and the demon pretend to be Suleiman hold on hold on the demon asked Suleiman to have the ring according to which story is story and why should a man is giving and don't stop saying the word demon idiot demon don't have physical body genie you must believe in genie where were the story that Suleiman he gave him the ring according to your story Suleiman he went to the bathroom his wife is a Jarada because Suleiman he will not take the ring which given to him by Allah he will not take it with him to the inside the bathroom. So each time he go to the bathroom, he give it to his wife Al Jarada. Then Shaitan he come in the image of Sulaiman, and he told her, "Give him my ring." And then he wear it. He become the the king. And aren't you stupid actually to even to mention this? that the genie he asked Suleiman to give him the ring. Don't, don't Suleiman in you that if he gave him the ring, the guy he will became the king. If the ring is your power. What a stupid story, man. Hey, Trump. Trump is the president and he have a ring. If he take the ring, Joe Biden will become the ring. So Joe Biden became the king. Joe Biden come to Trump. He said, Trump, you go to the bathroom, give me your ring. Trump. He gave him the ring. He went out. Joe Biden, he said to him, oh, oh, I became the king. Now I have the ring. <laughs> the ring. And why Muhammad don't have the ring? And how come Muhammad don't have a flying carpet? 
a flying horse. The only flying mule he have is the day when he went to the night, uh, the journey, which is very stupid even to believe. Right? Anyway, I feel really sorry for him. Uh, you see, all the stories the Muslims they try supposed to refute us with is showing you how much confused this cult. And when they say to us, this is weak, this is strong, this is so-so, you will notice what is strong is weak in the same time. The same thing is weak, is the same thing is strong. Yesterday our topic was about what, you remember? We mentioned a hadith, and I can show you the reference. The same hadith is strong, is weak, is Hassan, I mean the same hadith. How a same hadith, the same report can be strong in one place, can be weak in some other place. And what's wrong with this religion? Did Allah preserved what Muhammad said? Obviously not. If Allah only preserved the Quran, well, Islam is not only the Quran. The Quran actually is an empty book, as you see, fairy tale stories. And the problem is that the difference between the Muslims about the Hadith is so big. As an example, Mimi Hijab is a Muslim Sunni. He claimed to be Sunni. Fifi is a Muslim Sunni. Mimi Hijab, he says, Allah don't have a part. Who said so? Fifi, he made tons of videos saying, Allah have hands, Allah have a foot. But both are Muslims, and they are friends. So how one of them he say in a debate, who said so? Either this guy he don't really believe, Mimi, he believed that Allah don't have hands, or he is a liar, choose one. And how come Fifi did not make a video for Mimi, saying to him, stupid, how you say who said so? Allah, he said so. The Prophet, he said so. Why did not refute him? How come all of them, they jump all over Yasser Qadi? Because he's not your friend? So you humiliate Yasser Qadi? Lying about him, by the way? Because the guy, he said the truth. When a Muslim, he said the truth, right away they start doing mockery. This is the religion of mockery. And I don't know why Muslims did not learn that you cannot do mockery with me because I will hit so hard in your prophet head the second you try to do that with me. This is Mimi Hijab making mockery. Mockery of who? He's making mockery actually on Muhammad because the one who said this hadith is Muhammad. The Shaykh who is teaching the Hadith, he teaching the Hadith of Muhammad. Mimi Hijab, he go around and he says, okay, I want to suck your wife tits. And when somebody asks him, what kind of memorism is that, Muhammad? He say, what's wrong with it? He believe it is halal. They are making mockery of their prophet, you see it? Because it's Muhammad who said that. So those people, they have no limit how far they can do mockery. Even their prophet is a joke for them. The story about Suleiman. Thank you very much. Guys, look what this guy is just saying. Are you sure you are a Muslim? You are not helping me? Guys, read.
Muhammad the thief. The story about the jinn asking Suleiman to have the ring is found in the ancient Talmud. <laughs> Fantastic. So now you are confirming that your prophet is an idiot. He copy what a bunch of idiot they say in a book written by idiots. And you are confirming that Muhammad is a fraud because he did not take it from his God, he take it from the Talmud. This is what you just said. Because the Talmud is not a book of God. This is a book. Rabbis, they are writing there, whatever they want. That is the Talmud. Go and check. Even the Jews, they say to you, it is Rabbis writing. So Muhammad is taking it from the Talmud. And this is why the story is so stupid. There's tons of stories in the Talmud. They are so stupid, so dumb. Even a person with the head of a chicken, he will not even believe it. You can go right now and search for a book. It's called The Legion of the Jews. It's for free. It's an old book. That's why it's for free. And you will find tons of stories in the Quran taken from that book. Yet Muhammad claimed that Allah told him those stories, including the story of flying carpet, the ant is talking, walking in the valley of the ants, you name it. We know that Muhammad, he take it, everything he have is from somewhere. Everything. But anyway, thank you for reminding us. Guys, I apologize each time I say I want to go, somebody say something and we stay here. Don't forget to download my videos because as you see, I'm going to delete most of them. And this video will be deleted maybe in a few hours from now. So download it, share it with your friends, add subtitle as you wish. And until uh, uh, we see you again before somebody say something and then I have to refute him, get him busted. I better go. Let me turn off my screen so I see nothing. Because look what happened. Each time I want to go, somebody say something. And then we stuck for the coming hour, or maybe two. So thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord, and Muhammad is funny and dummy. And tell the chickens, if you flag my videos or not, the videos are all over the internet. And not even your God can take them down. They are there to stay. They are there. Good luck. Thank you.